Paul's vision, and I was a support person. And because I'm his wife, we kind of think about things together. But um, he, he'd been involved, and I guess we both had been involved in farming, and just really felt unfulfilled. And, you know, he just really wanted a way to connect farm with relationships with people. Because what we were finding with the farms that, that, that we had worked at, we worked at two different dairy farms, is that you do all the farm work, which is fulfilling in its own way, but you never connect to the people who are actually benefiting from your work. So one of the main things that we do is um, donate our, our food. And also, as a side of that, is education. So these kind of things go hand in hand. Um, uh, we have one big volunteer day a week on Saturdays, and we have about, this year it's been about six to eight students out every time, but then there's a few other days during the week that people come out. A lot of people have never um, been to this type of farm before. It's, it's a small, small scale, very diverse, um, sustainable, organic farm, and so there's a lot of different things to learn about. People are really interested in that, and eating fresh, good food, and where it comes from, and learning these kinds of things. And so, it's part of our um, sort of feeling the idea of relationships is that we're making relationships with the people that want to learn about this kinds of thing. And the other one is um, through dinning in our food, um, hoping to see that our work gets used in a um, viable way. I would say, just a really rough estimate, probably three-fourths of what we end up growing is donated. Yeah, those two things to me are very central in how they're connected and how they um, have different kinds of relationships that form from them. Uh, donating to the food pantries is definitely important, but one thing that uh, I feel like we're moving more towards is actually feeding people. Uh, you know, feeding more people, whoever stops by, whoever's around, whoever we're actually in relationship with. That's a really important part of what we do too. And so, even though not all of our food is donated, it's part of the relationship building I think that is really at the heart of what the farm does. So currently, uh, we're producing our own dairy needs, from butter and cheese to milk and ice cream, those kinds of things. Um, producing our own meat needs, um, and that kind of varies seasonally between chickens and, and pork and uh, beef. Um, we have our own sweet, sweet production in the form of honey. Um, we have mixed vegetables and fruit, uh, from apples to tomatoes, peppers, potatoes, onions. Lots of different vegetables. So we have morning prayer at 6.30, and we generally have a morning meeting at 8. And during that time, in between, people do chores, like feed the animals and milk the cow, that kind of thing. And then we chat about the day at 8, and then work from like 8.30 to 1. We have common lunch at 1 here. Then we have a break or a siesta until 3, and then we generally do other projects until 6 or so. And that can be like both individual or off the farm, or doesn't necessarily connect to the collaborative work that we try to do in the morning. And so, and then at 6.30 we have prayer.